Hi there, my name is Angie Obwaka. I'm an HR consultant and career coach. I am honored to be part of this autonomy training team and I take the career planning module in the campus edition. In this particular course, we cover very many things related to how to jumpstart your career, how to start your career. So if you're looking for an internship, you're trying to get ahead with your attachments, you're looking for your first uh, entry level position, how do you do that successfully? How do you stand out among a lot of your classmates, people around the world who are competing for the same opportunities. So we talk about everything from how to structure your CV, how to find the course that's most marketable. If there's such a thing as a most marketable course, we talk about how to stand out in your internship. What skills and what strengths can you talk about even if you've never had any work experience? How do you stand out in an interview? And how do you leave your first job? Because hopefully your first job is not going to be the job you're going to do for 50 years. You are going to transition at some point. How do you do that effectively without burning bridges? Join us for Centonomy Campus Edition if you'd like to find out more about how to build your career and stand out in the world of work. For most people in high school, they are taught how to draw up their CVs, all right? And that is usually a 12-page document. But did you know that industry professionals only take six to eight seconds to decide whether or not they're going to consider you for an attachment, for an internship, or even for a job? So it's important for you to know what are the things you need to put in there. And because most times this is not taught in school, it's not taught in alongside your technical course, it's important for you to take this extra step to be able to develop this skill, to be able to get the behind the scenes not just from anyone but from an HR professional so this is one of the things that makes me so excited about this course uh, in campus edition so it's not just one thing that lands you a job and that's one of the things we talk about in campus edition okay it's not just the good grades it's not just the extracurricular activities it's how all these things come together to make you stand out as a candidate so what are we talking about we're talking about how do you identify the value that you have Yes, just with two years or two semesters um, at university, do you have any value to offer? Yes, looking at your extracurricular activities, if you've been volunteering somewhere, if you are part of a football club, or if you are part of a drama club somewhere, or your local church, or any other institution, how do you leverage all of that and bring all of that together to be able to get um, advantaged in your career? So we'll talk about that. What value do you have to offer? What strengths can you identify? How do you write a good CV that stands out? What are the different kinds of CVs and when should you use them? We talk about LinkedIn, we talk, to, we talk about interviews. We also talk about networking, which is so, so critical in getting ahead in your career. And lastly, we talk about interviews, um, uh, landing your first job, how to operate within the first work environment that you'll be in. Some of the practical takeaways that you will get from attending this particular session is being able to know what a good CV is, how to structure your CV, how to answer interview questions, which is a challenge for many people, what you need to put in your LinkedIn profile, how do you optimize that for yourself, and how to be effective in your networking for career development. One of the things that has repeatedly come up in each of our sessions has been people's feeling of just being empowered. Most young people looking for jobs or just about to graduate are always feeling hopeless. You've had this narrative of there not being any jobs, that you're going to tarmac for three to five years. You're not going to find opportunities where you've studied. But lots of people, in fact, I'd say about 95% of the people who attend the course will always say that now they feel more hopeful about their job search because they know what to do, because they have tools to be able to get them to the next place it's not just a matter of chance it's not just a matter of you know uh, bribery and corruption to be able to get to the next level it's that it is within your power it's, in, it's within your reach to be able to make the decisions and make the strategic moves for you to be able to get the job opportunities that you want are you a student in campus or in any of our technical universities? Have you just gotten into your second or third year looking for an internship or an attachment? Or have you recently graduated? Are you thinking about how to compete effectively, landing a dream job, how to know how to network? I invite you to join me in the Centonomy Campus Edition for the career planning module that I will take alongside other fantastic trainers on different elements on how you can position yourself for the world of work. Looking forward to seeing you there.